Today is National Beer Day and Central Texas we know is home to more than 50 breweries in the area and this morning we headed south to Dripping Springs for the second stop of the tour. Tier Newbaum is live at Fitzhugh Brewing with a look at what they've got to offer. Good morning, Tierra. Good morning to you, Leslie. Such a really unique venue out here. We're making our way down Fitzhugh Road, and it's like Brewery Road row out here. There are so many breweries. And uh, National Beer Day, it's not just another national day. There's actually some history behind this. President Roosevelt, back in 1933, signed a law to allow uh, brewing and selling of beer again during the prohibition. So that's kind of where this all stemmed from. It went into fruition on April 7th, 1933, and people celebrated. We're still celebrating this morning, Kirby, yes. a female-owned brewery here in yes. Dripping Springs. Can you tell us a little bit about Fitzhugh Brewing, what people can experience when they come out here? Yeah, hi, thanks for coming out. Um, so Fitzhugh Brewing, you're gonna really experience a very widely inclusive place. Um, we're very family-friendly, we're very female-friendly. We're just very inviting to everyone out here, from the beer novice to the beer pro alike. Um, so we just really want everyone to feel at home out here. I mean, everybody's welcome. I like that. Something for everybody. And out here in the beer garden, you guys even have a, a play set. And, uh, you know, the kids can come out here while the parents maybe enjoy a beer, some great food, and uh, a play around, too. Yes, definitely. I mean, we really made it, um, especially the beer garden, in mind with families. Um, thinking about the families first, you know, that way, Parents don't have to go too far to watch their kids play and while well, they enjoy a really good drink and awesome food. Uh, most definitely. Okay, mm -hmm. National Beer Day, we got to talk about the beer. And Nathan, you are the head brewmaster here. You guys are bringing beers from around the world right here to the Texas Hill Country. So can you tell us a little bit about this process and what different flavors people can experience here? Sure. Well, one of the fun things about having a brewery like this is we can really bring a diverse uh, array of styles to uh, people in the hill country that may not have seen beers like this before. So what we do is we focus on beers that have historical historical significance or uh, are kind of f uniquely from around the world. So up front there, we've got our mainstay, one of our Blondales. We've got one of the uh, only three styles that are native to the United States, a Kentucky Common. We've got a beer from Japan, and then we've got a beer from Scotland. We've got a hazy IPA. We've got a stout from Barbados. We're kind of like covering the entire map just to really bring those diverse styles of beer uh, to people here in Texas. How cool is that? I can't wait to try every single one of those, and we can't not talk about this beautiful spread of food. Chef John, uh, what are people going to find on the menu here? Well, we've got a lot of really good stuff. Uh, local, uh, locally sourced, whatever we can. Uh, it's basically Hill Country Fair. Uh, some international twists is great working with Nathan because we tie, tie the food and the beer together and as he goes around the world with beer, I'm following him with the food. So uh, we've got a couple of different things. We've got some Asian inspired flavors. It's all really good stuff. All fresh and healthy. We make it right here. How incredible is that? And real quick, Kirby, where can people get more information on what you guys have coming up? I know there is going to be some fun uh, goats and beer yes. parties <laughs> and Mother's Day events, that kind of thing. Yes, yeah. So um, you can check out our website at fitzybrewing.com or of course on all of our socials um, uh, on Facebook and Instagram. We update all that weekly. And then uh, do you guys have live music usually? And what's the best time for people to come out? Yeah, we, um, we're we adding a whole bunch of new live music um, almost every weekend coming into uh, the end of the spring and early summer. Um, so Saturdays are our busiest days, um, but that's when we tend to put our live music on. Uh, probably like two to six o'clock is kind of the big happening hour, so that's a great time to come out. A lot of fun, a lot of good beer, a lot <laughs> of good food. What more could you need? National Beer Day here at Fitzhugh Brewing. You can find more information on their social media pages and online. And uh, we'll check in with you guys down the road in just a little bit, Leslie. Back to you. All right, sounds good. Yeah, my eye was on the food. <laughs> sounds good. Thanks, Tira. We'll be right back.